Good morning. So I thought I would make a video um, while I was getting ready. Getting ready to go to work. Just shirt, jeans, nothing crazy. Okay. So I'm kind of over my crush. Um, I do care for him and I love him as a person, but I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, if the person that I like is not loving me back, I'm not doing it. I don't care what I feel because I'm not going to be consumed in a fantasy in my mind when the reality of the situation is completely different. So I'm looking for love. So if anybody's watching this, no, I'm kidding. I'm not putting it out there for the world. But I, I am open to love, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone to show me love. So if my future husband or my future boyfriend is watching this, you know what I want already. Like, watch the other videos, get a clue. Okay. On another note, I am... Getting ready to go into the city. One of my friends is actually going through a divorce, Lindita. Oh my god, that's gonna be so terrible. Oh, this is an artistry quad. Um, it comes with a medium kit. I should have a mirror, right? So what I'm gonna do is quickly speed and get the mirror. Okay. So um, I'm gonna sit down with my friend, and it just so happens that my territory is in her area. So I can kill two birds with one stone. And my roommate needs to go to the city too, so I would just drop them off. Um, and there's that. Maybe I should put that somewhere over here. But life is too short to be in love with somebody who's not loving you back. And I know we sit there and we watch these movies where like the person gets that guy in the end or the girl in the end. It's a movie, you know? The chances of that being you are very slim. Really? What just happened there? That was so weird. Um, I don't know, the video just started playing. I don't know what happened. But don't fall into the exception of the rule. Don't feel like you're going to be like that person. Um, and if you are, God bless you. But. You know, not not protect yourself because you don't need to protect that's artistry number five. Uh, tinted moisturizer. Um, you don't, I don't know, you guys do whatever you want. But I just don't want anybody to get hurt. You know, love the one that's loving you. Because you'll find the most joy out of it. And after a while, you learn to fall in love with people. Um, other than that, I wanted to... Um, talk about sex and I know you're like what? I know I'm talking about sex let's talk about sex baby and the reason I want to talk about sex is because I find that so many people are having sex and uh, being hurt at the end because there's no commitment there's no definition it's just random so when you're going out there throwing your body out to the world um, let me remind you of something called HIV, AIDS, something that we don't like talking about, but it's still rampant, and we're not promoting it, and we don't have those anti-AIDS commercials. Why? Because they want to make money off of you going through the AIDS and the HIV treatment, or HIV treatment, because once you have AIDS, um, and that's ridiculous. People, use a condom. Okay, if you don't love the girl enough to be with her and only her, and she's not on birth control, which isn't a guarantee anyway, then you probably shouldn't be having sex. FYI. Just saying. Okay? So, think about that. If you're not okay with this girl that you're messing with getting pregnant, and you possibly being a dad, you probably shouldn't be having sex. Just saying. Now, are you going to listen to me? Of course not. Why would you do that? But, when some girl comes at you that she's pregnant, don't get upset. You know? Of course it feels better without a condom. Dull. But it doesn't mean that you're supposed to have sex with all these girls without a condom. And if you are having sex, have sex with one person. 
you know, wait until it's over before you move on to the next chick. Because you have to learn to appreciate the person that you're with. Aside from that, you also want to build relationships. You know, being sexually um, active with somebody, it, it does have some kind of intimacy that comes with it. And um, it hurts when you feel like you're connected to somebody and then they go and they give it freely to somebody else. You know that special moment that you guys have, you know? And you're like, wow, we're connected, this person loves me. And now they're like loving everybody else. That's not cool. You shouldn't do that to people. Now again, you don't have to listen to me. I'm not a professional, I'm not giving professional advice, it's just my opinion. Why? Because it is going to save a lot of hearts in the long run. And for me, it's all about the greater good. And I, I, I just hope that somebody's watching this and thinking like, okay, whatever, you know? But then realizing like, you're doing more damage than good. Like I have a video, it's called, Don't Mess With The Good Girls, Find A Hoe. Like do that and watch that video. Cause there's a lot of people that wanna do exactly what you're doing. Don't mess with the ones that are looking for you to be their knight in shining armor. Because you're just gonna ruin them. And then when you're ready to be with a good girl, there won't be any left. Because you guys played them all. Don't do that. You know, find one girl and be with that one girl. And if it doesn't work out, then, and really try, you know? And if it doesn't work out, then you break up and you move on to somebody else. But it's not about hip hopping all over the place. In New York, everybody wants you. Nobody loves you. Love is a very deep word. So just be careful of the ones that want you because you know what? Those girls that want you, they want everybody else too. You know? Oh, and this is really important. This is what I wanted to tell you guys, you fucking idiots. Sorry. Not you all, but the ones that are idiots. If you're giving a girl money, okay? This is what I think is so funny. I'm a good girl. I work my butt off. I have my own money. I don't ask anybody for anything. And if I do, I always pay them back. I've never had a man in my whole life give me money. Ever. Never. So, you're giving a girl money, right? And she's like this fly, honey thing, whatever. I know girls that weren't even that pretty. And they have four guys on the side. And each guy was giving them 20 to $50 to get manicures and pedicures and all that stuff to keep themselves right and whatever. Four different bank accounts. These girls are banking off of you. Okay? So yeah, some of you do have a nice girl that genuinely loves you and, and really needs your help. That's fine. But don't be dissuaded. There's a lot of girls out there that I have lost so much respect for that play you guys as bad as you play them. But the difference is they don't play you for sex. They play you for money because they know that you're just using them for sex. Does that make sense? And, you know, sometimes the guy is truly in love with the girl and she's playing him like, a, like an idiot. Not, not that I want you to question everybody you're with. But just be aware that this stuff is happening and understand that it's so much better to find one person to be with that one person, if that makes any sense to you guys. Because, um, you know, the, the more sane you are, the more emotionally put together you are as a person, the more you're gonna achieve greatness and wonderful things. But if you're constantly being emotionally challenged and crying and not feeling like yourself and like why is this happening to me why is she doing this why is he doing this uh, like you're taking away from the beautiful life that God has given you and mind you some of us need to endure it to get to where we, we need to go in life but if you can avoid it through knowledge common sense understanding if you can see a bad person for who they are and walk away from them before you get so involved with them that it hurts you physically mentally emotionally psychologically then I think then I think this video was worth it you know one day I'm gonna start interviewing people but right now I'm just talking to you guys um, just be careful you know your heart is an asset and a lot of guys and, and girls are liabilities find one person one person that believes in you one person that will love you and encourage you for a lifetime, not just for the moment. And yeah, some people are here for a reason, a season, a lifetime, you know, or a purpose, whatever. But don't go out there just thinking like, oh, I'm going to see what happens. What if, you know, like everybody's different. But find somebody that loves you for who you are, like 
all of you, your messy nights, your stinky feet, your your bad moods, your good moods, your anger spurts, your you know, your timidness, your passive aggressiveness, like whatever, you know. Find somebody that got to know you and after all that says, I like this one. I'm gonna keep him or her. That's basically it. I don't know what this is gonna sound like because I'm like all over the place and a little tired. Woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I started to read a book. I read the whole thing. I was done by like 6.30. And I think I'm just going to start reading and reading and reading and reading. I go through phases like this. I do things in like spurts. But um, I'll let you know what I'm reading as we go on. Take care. Have fun. See you later.